Hello everyone, myself Harris, uh, TA for this power system course. Uh, in this session, our discussion is mainly on power wall simulator. Uh, in this session, I will discuss like uh, how to install this power wall simulator. Uh, and then I will show the components which are available in this power wall simulator. After that, finally, I will show some, some examples uh, from that which we can get some understanding. So first, I will show how to install this power wall simulator. For that, what you have to do. Uh, actually, we have two ways to install this. Uh, first, uh, we have to download that file, that MSI file. For that, we can go through that website like called Power Wall Simulator uh, website. Or else I, after this session, I will share this uh, link with you people. So if you click this link, uh, then <clears throat> you can redirect, redirect it to that website. If you go here, uh, see here we have dot MSI file. Uh, if you click on this dot MSI file, you can download this uh, uh, MSI file. After installing, uh, after downloading this file, uh, installation is easy. Like what can you say? Directly next, next, next. If you do it, uh, that Power Wall Simulator uh, software can be installed. After that, here uh, this second link is nothing but uh, this is actually some some example problems uh, which uh, which are taken from the uh, Duncan Glover book, Power System Duncan Glover book, 6th edition. So these are some examples. Uh, after downloading that uh, this dot zip file, you can unzip this file and uh, you can use this example file. So this is the thing. Here in my laptop already, this Power Wall Simulator software is uh, installed. Uh, so I will open that Power Wall Simulator directly. Uh, is this visible? Yes, sir. Okay. So after installation, uh, you will get this Power Wall uh, Simulator window like this. Uh, first, what we have to do, we have to uh, open new file. For that, what we have to do, click on this file, top left corner and then uh, click on this new case if you click on that you will get this uh, window like this so first what uh, we have to discuss uh, click on this draw if you click on this draw and go to this network see these are the components which are available in this uh, power wall simulator like bus generator load switched send transmission line transformer series capacitor uh, and fact devices, etc. All these components, whichever required in power system, all these components are available. Uh, we will actually, uh, first, I, what I will do, I will uh, draw some simple uh, tuba system. From that, I will show some uh, animation. After that, I will show, uh, take that some uh, example problems that uh, from that uh, Duncan Glover book. First, I, what I will do, I will select this bus. For selecting, you have to go to network. Uh, then click on this bus. If you click wherever you want to uh, insert that bus, uh, click there. So here I selected. So if you click here, then bus options will come. Uh, bus number, bus name, uh, how much is the rated voltage of that particular bus and in which area it's uh, uh, available and uh, which zone multiple uh, those type of data available we can change we can customize this data uh, here bus number came automatically one bus name also came one like you can change this number or name uh, whichever we want we can change that thing and also if we observe here uh, we can change this nominal voltage like rated voltage we can change whichever we want so then uh, if we come down here uh, in this display information we have we are having uh, orientation how that orientation of that bus whether it is right up left down so whichever we want we can uh, change that so here i kept it up and uh, up and here uh, that bus shape also we can select like uh, we can here uh, it's automatically what can i say default uh, by default it's rectangle we can change that shape to uh, ellipse also so, and we can change the size of that bus, width, height, everything we can change. We can customize that shape. And if we click on this bus information, uh, bus voltage uh, in per unit and angle in angle in degrees, these things will come. So what I will suggest here, uh, after this session, you go through this uh, power wall simulator software and uh, try to uh, practice this thing. Then you can get idea how to use this. So display. 
I kept it sharp and uh, safe is rectangle and so this bus got selected and here that bus number is there so you can keep it uh, anywhere you want so I, here I am keeping so one bus I, I selected after this what I will do I will go to that network and then again I will select one more bus see again if you wherever you want to insert that bus go there and click there so here automatically previous bus number is one so it came at two if previous bus number is something uh, some x this, uh, this bus number will come automatically x plus one so like that it will automatically update and bus voltage everything similar to previous so see previously i given uh, orientation is up so it's automatically selected up and shape is rectangle or el ellipse here if i select ellipse let me go hmm. see see he previously it's rectangle now it came ellipse actually this uh, width is less that's why it's uh, shape is uh, showing like this but if you enlarge this then you can get the ellipse shape so let me i will keep everything in rectangle so Mm. Now I took a uh, tuba system. This is actually simple tuba system. Uh, now what I will do, I will connect one generator at uh, gener uh, bus number one and one load at uh, bus number two. For that, what we have to do, go to that uh, network and select on this uh, generator. Uh, wherever you want to insert the generator, go to that bus and click. See here, it plus symbol it's showing and I am clicking there. So if I select there, click there, then we get, we got this bus option, uh, generator option. Uh, see at which bus this generator is connected and uh, what is that ID area, everything came. And also here important thing is uh, for generator, we require uh, generator rating, how much it's uh, generates, uh, uh, rating of that particular generator and uh, minimum and maximum megawatt limits, minimum maximum MVR limit everything will be available see uh, whether it's available for agc whether it's available for avr lots of options are available that's why i am telling you you people after this session you go through uh, this power walls uh, after installing you go through this power wall simulator uh, then you can get some broad idea on this so here i am setting simply like 100 megawatt <coughs> giving only uh, I'm giving this, uh, what can I say, uh, a megawatt limit uh, here. See, this is not only power rating, we can give cost. See, for example, this cost things uh, required for OPF, optimal power flow, optimal power flow for that, we require this cost function. We can select whichever cost function we want. So lots of options are available. And also for fast fault analysis, we can give the fault analysis parameters and area zone etc we, we can customize this generator also so lots of things are available so here i given 100 uh, megawatt rating for this generator after that what i will uh, here display information previously i shown display information for bus now here display information for generator uh, we can uh, change this size like whichever we want uh, either 10 width or uh, 11 whichever we want we can change and here orientation is here at bus one i am selecting i am keeping this generator uh, for bus one i am keeping this left to that bus one so i am here selecting left if i select here left uh, that generator we automatically comes left to this bus bus one and after that see here we have uh, different uh, rotor shapes here the dark bone shape is there uh, if you select other options, we can get other means sine wave I want in that uh, rotor place. So it will come like that. I will show uh, one more thing. So that's it. And uh, click on this. Okay. If you click on this, okay, see what I did. I selected that bus, uh, that generator left to left to this bus one. So it came left to this bus one and I selected that shape as dark bone. So that's why it came dark bone. Uh, instead of dark bone, if I select some sine wave, mm. one second.
see sine wave which means we can customize the these shapes uh, whichever one uh, i'm keeping default that dark bone so uh, this is generator uh, at bus 1 now what i have to do i have to connect one load at bus 2 for that go to this network and click on this uh, network and go click on this load where we have we want to connect that load we have to connect that load at bus 2 for that click on that so if we observe here here uh, everything came mm -hmm. at bus 2 we connected load uh, and what the id uh, and the area zone everything came and here three types of loads available one is constant power one is another one is constant current and last one is constant load. whichever load which the whichever type of load we want to give we can give that load so here i am giving like a megawatt limit for uh, that the load value is so for example i am giving 50 megawatt uh, i am not giving this mvr uh, values for simple understanding and here uh, the display options are there uh, whichever available for that uh, load bus uh, whichever available for the generator uh, bus everything uh, here also available see here i am i want to keep this uh, load right to that second bus so i am keeping here right uh, and uh, everything is same and here uh, whether it's uh, it's this indicates status whether it's open or it's closed so if we keep it in close it will operate if it is in open then it will not operate though so these are the things and uh, opf options everything uh, so that's why i'm telling that if i uh, uh, you people go through this what can i say uh, this uh, software once then you can get better idea so here i am selecting okay so now here load got connected at bus 2 and then next what i will do i will connect one switched sent at uh, uh, bus 2 so i will click on this switched sent uh, at bus 2 so switched sent means either capacitor or in that, uh, capacitor or some capacitor bank. So those things we can connect. So here at bus two I connected. So those things came automatically and I am giving MVR limit as like some 36. And just for understanding, I'm giving these values. Uh, here see uh, different types of modes are there. Fixed, discrete, continuous, bus send, SVC. Uh, so different options are there. Whichever we want, we can give that. And also here, if you observe different options are there. So that's why I'm suggesting you people go through this ones uh, and uh, see orientation here, uh, right to that bus we have to give for that. I am selecting, right. Mm, we can give up also, but uh, for looking, it's uh, uh, good if we give right side. So that's it. Uh, and then I'm clicking. Okay. So at bus two one load and one switched sent i connected and at bus one one generator i connected now what we require one transmission line between this bus one and bus two for that what you do go to transmission line and uh, from which bus to which bus we have to connect so start from that bus um, at which bus you have to end click on that so see if you observe here uh, that branch branch nothing but the transmission line uh, starting from bus one to bus two and here if you observe here um, everything like uh, similar to previous uh, component we have uh, what can i say options uh, whether the status if we keep it in open it will come open if you keep it in close it will come uh, come close so those things and we can give the these parameters like uh, transmission line parameters here i am giving for example uh, series resistance as 0 0.3 series reactance as 0 0.6 and MVA, MVA limit for that particular transmission line how much is the MVA limit that also I am giving uh, some 45 so that MVA limit also are given. See here also lots of options, whether we, we should insert transformer in this uh, transmission line or series capacitor, uh, fault information, uh, area, zone, these things, everything will be there. So that's why I'm telling you, you people go through these ones. 
and uh, display everything. So I'm clicking OK. See here, uh, this is simple tuba system. At bus one, we connected one generator. At bus two, we connected one load and uh, one switched send. And this is transmission line. Here, this this actually this circle. This is nothing but pie chart. Uh, this indicates the loading of this transmission line. How much uh, percentage it's loading? I will show this thing uh, after running this simulation. So here I kept this it's a pie chart for uh, indicating the percentage of loading, whether it's overloading or underloading. Those things I will show. Now I given every components uh, for this tuba system. So now we given. So whenever we are giving these components, we should be in edit mode. See. Here, two modes are there. One is edit mode, another one is run mode. If we keep it in run mode, we can't uh, edit or we can't delete these components, those things. So we can just run this in this uh, edit uh, run mode. So for running, keep it in run mode and go to these tools and click on this green uh, button. So if we click that, see. Hmm. So some um, power is flowing from this generator to uh, load through this transmission line. Here, the thing here, the problem is you uh, getting or not. Here, the transmission line is overloaded. Why? Because uh, here M50 megawatt and this line limit I given like 45 something. So it's flowing more than this uh, load. So for that, uh, what I will do, um, we have to select this MVA limit uh, accordingly. Uh, just go to edit mode and click on this transmission line uh, see here i uh, given 45 but our load is like 50 megawatt more than so it's getting overloaded for that i am just selecting uh, these values we have to select accordingly mm. okay mm. now go to run mode again click see now, if you observe here, power is flowing from uh, generator to load through this transmission line. Now, the thing is 83% of this uh, line limit is got uh, uh, transferring, not overloading. So this is the thing.